This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading up nine. NASDAQ is up eight. S&P is up seven and a half. Gold contract uh, up nine dollars and ten cents, trading at twelve eighty-eight an ounce. We have silver up thirteen cents, fifteen dollars one cent an ounce. Light sweet crude down two bucks, getting hit sixty-three dollars seventeen cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the ten-year note. Up nine ticks, trading 123.21. 30-year bond up a half a point, 15 ticks, 147.20. And King Dollar, King Dollar down 200, 200 ticks, trading at 97.720. What's going to get interesting with King Dollar here, if we bring this up, folks, what you're going to see, you know, King Dollar went higher, broke out this week, got over the consolidation, and the consolidation we're talking about, this was a, almost a year consolidation, well, about six-month consolidation. Um, right now in the continuous contract, we're at 97.720. You close over 97.705, bottom line, you can get up to 103. This is going to be a big, this is going to be a big close coming into the close out here. Um, because what you do have is that you have divergence between the dollar index, the bond market, as well as the metals market. Metals market caught a bid. Bond market caught another bid. Dollar is at highs. Bottom line, that correlation uh, fundamentally doesn't fly, and it's an anomaly in the marketplace. It will get straightened out. We'll find out which way it's going to get straightened out. Uh, but right now, it looks like gold still wants to go higher. Bonds want to go higher. Uh, and I can't say that dollar wants to go lower. <laughs> if we go over to the GDX and we take a look at the GDX, what you're going to see out here, GDX caught a bid also. Um, you're up at 21.39 right now, and if we did like to see, uh, is that I'd like to see that close actually come in at uh, 21.40. You get a nice, they had a low out here established this week at uh, $20.67. You're at 21.40. You're coming into the breakout area. You did it with tremendously light of volume. We did it with 169 million versus uh, 270. So, bottom line, you get 100 million less as you had pulled back this week. It rejected lower price. You had lighter volume. Goes topside. That's saying that bottom line, it wants higher price. Stay right there, folks. A few numbers coming out after the close uh, next week. A lot of numbers, a lot of numbers, a lot of things happening next week, including window dressing. Recap out here. Dow up 25. NASDAQ up 13. S&P's up 9. Coming right back.